Good morning, folks. We've got a ton of stories to hit today, a number of storms, bleak earthquake outlook, and more. But first, we're zooming in on the active region that isn't. Instead of sunspots, it's the anchor point for a large plasma filament. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were relatively calm and quiet, filament and bright surroundings turning through, surging every few hours, but not ejecting, coronal holes around the disk as well. Zooming into the filament anchor point again, we find the genesis of its stability. Strong magnetic fields arch above the filament, both containing and protecting it. Solar wind here. Middle panel orange density took two bumps there, and below that in purple, the plasma stream speed surged right afterwards. This is a coronal hole stream impact, and it is moderate right now, but any further surges in the stream could push us into low-level geomagnetic storm activity. The culprit is the departing coronal hole on the right. Next one's already visible incoming, and it's worth noting that today marks the entry into the earthquake danger zone we've been discussing. Not expected to peak until early March, this is the forecast we made nearly one month ago now. Let's go to the weather. Strongest storm on Earth hasn't felt like moving much. In addition to loving the water, it has no well-defined eye, and the rotation is outpaced by the Earth spot pulsing from the heart of the storm. Top weather event yesterday hit Pakistan, and most surrounding countries too, actually. The flood came fast, a number of people were swept away, and all as they receive Afghanistan's expected rainfall, well, their drought persists. And then, there's the snow. Records falling by the hour. It's snowing in the desert to the south. Daily, monthly, and all-time records have been on the chopping block. Still got a whole week left in February. Also, don't forget the record cold. She is sneaking in behind that snow. Let's go to Neptune, where among the many moons, the large one named Proteus appears to have a companion. They believe the smaller chunk must have broken off of the bigger moon, because otherwise they would not be dancing in orbit so close to one another. Hopefully we recall that story about the geocorona extending past the moon. Here we see it graphically in the oblong shape that is stretched by the solar wind. So back in 2013, we put out Star Water a five-part series that claimed water was ubiquitous in the cosmos and that all you really need is rocks and solar wind hydrogen, which can break the oxygen from the rock and make water on the spot. Here we are in 2019, and NASA claims that water might be able to be made in situ on the moon. How? Solar wind hydrogen will break oxygen from the rock and combine with it to form water. That's visionary-type insight there, NASA. This will help you sleep at night, all the known asteroids we've tracked, but importantly today, one of them, a binary asteroid system, is due for a visit by the ESA. Link is below. According to the AGU, we are on the precipice of an atmospheric chemistry epoch. If we hit it, we'll rejoin a time period of life explosion on Earth, especially in the plants. Good articles sent our way describing how CO2 is helping the adaptation of many plant species, including their use for larger growth and larger leaves. And hopefully we recall the greening look we got last week. This one zoomed in on Alaska and showing an increase in vegetation. But a note of frustration, if I may. In the course of gathering this data, surely they got data for Northwest Canada as well. How hard would it be to show it? Last but not least, M33 a stable galaxy with little chaos of any sort, except when they go look at the stellar motions and central structure of the galaxy, they cannot make heads or tails of it. No matter how they spin the halo, inner gas content, stellar motions, explain away the lack of a bar, they just cannot get the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model to explain M33, to their dismay. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.